Hello everybody and welcome back to Random Tech. Today we're going to be talking about Corsair's new IQ software. This video excites me because I've been waiting for this for a long time. They've had a few different names for it. Um, they announced it as like Corsair Sync It uh, a while back at one of the big events that they hosted. Um, but now they finally released it. It is renamed to IQ. Without further ado, let's get into this. I got a camera right here that's going to be pointing toward my computer. And I'm going to be showing you how the effects kind of work and my first look and impressions of it. I've actually used it a little bit. I haven't like gone super deep into it, but there's not... Once you figure out how to use the program, there's not much of a learning curve to it. But how to use it took me a little bit to figure out. It's kind of confusing at first, but I'll teach you guys kind of how to start off and how to create your own effects with it. So IQ... Um, if you have anything that's Corsair RGB, like the HD120 fans, the LL series fans, the Corsair strips, um, if they're hooked up to a Node Pro or, you know, Commander Pro, which has those that kind of Node Pro built into it, you can control it fully, individually, with IQ. And that is something I've been waiting for for so long because I've always wanted to make my own look to my PC. The strips and everything, the Corsair fans and strips are always cool looking, but they never had that full customizable situation to them. You always had those set amount of effects that you could do, which were a lot, but this allows full control. Alright, as, as I said earlier, I have a camera here pointing toward my computer, and it's going to show you the effects as I change them on the screen. So, first off, you're looking here at the lighting... Uh, Node Pro and the Hydro Series H100 IV2. Now, the IQ software will show you devices. So it shows my Corsair AIO and it shows the Lighting Node Pro. So you, you click on the Lighting Node Pro and you have this lighting setup. So you have Lighting Channel 1 and Lighting Channel 2. So Lighting Channel 1 is the first channel on the Node Pro. So the Node Pro has the two channels that you can hook up RGB LEDs in. So channel one, I have all the fans on. Channel two, I have the the strips on. So as you can see, I have an effect right now, which is not a default effect in any type of Corsair situation. And it's like a pink, blue, and white, and then it has a white visor going all around them, which is like crazy to think you can see it on my computer over there I'll have it on the screen right now this effect was not even close to be able to do in the previous software so I have it as a profile now let, let's create a new profile so everything is dark as you see now and let's go to lighting channel 1 so you see here these lighting channels that I'm working with the fans right now. So if you go to lighting's library, it has all of the different effects. So right now it's on color wave. You can kind of see that right now on the camera. And it's just alternating through random colors. And you could switch that to anything like your normal rainbow. This is a spiral rainbow, which is a cool new effect that you can do with the, the new RAM that they released but are not out yet. But it's a cool spiral effect. So they, there's still a lot of awesome modes on this, but the cool thing is static color. So I, I have a static color now. If I go to this lighting channel, you click it and it's on rainbow wave. So I can switch that back to custom and you can see custom static, gradient wave, whatever. So let's go static. So I have a static color layer. Now you gotta, when you use IQ, you have to visualize everything with layers. So I'm gonna create a new layer, plus, and it's on Rainbow Wave, so let's change that to static. And as you can see, you can select them. So I'm gonna delete layer one, I got layer two right here. I'm just gonna select all the ones, say I want white. So I accidentally do this. Let's do these four corners white on every one of them. And I'm, to do this, I'm holding control and just selecting. So now I have all of these white. Now I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to change it to 
static color. Now, I they're all highlighted. I clicked off, so they're all highlighted white. You click anywhere, and it deselects all of the static colors. So now it only shows the under layer. So now you can see that the under layer is affecting this. So now I can go and let's see, say I want red. So I can change the middle ones to red on this layer. And everything just stacks up. And boom, now I have white and red. I'm changing them, I'm addressing them individually. It's so cool. Now let me create another layer. So let's say I want the other ones a whole separate effect. So I have here selected Spiral Rainbow. Now I can select the ones that are left and make an entire Spiral Rainbow effect. This is mind blowing, you could have solid colors and active effects all in one. So you can see over here, I have those red, I have the white, and I have a spiral rainbow. Now let's go back to layer two and deselect all the red and we'll change that to like a rain. How about that? So now I'm gonna have the rain effect, the spiral rainbow, and the solid color whites all on one. So as you can see, it is affecting it like completely. Now I'm going to add another new layer. How about that? And then I'm going to go, how about a visor? So now on layer four, I have a visor effect going over all the effects that I just added. Now I can just do it like an alternating visor. And let's do it like pink and green. How about that? So now you see a pink and green visor with the rain effect, with the spiral rainbow effect, all in one. Now I can change the speed of the visor, let's go fast. So you can see it just super fast. And let's add another layer, just cause you can. Okay, this marquee, so marquee works where there's transparent layers and it spins like that. When it goes to the transparent layers, it is showing the four stacked layers under the marquee. So like, you can kinda see it better with that. That's crazy. If I do it fast, you can see it even faster. That's just like ridiculous. Here, let's go slow. So every time it switches, the marquee switches to like the transparent layer, it shows what's under the layer. So I'll, I'll switch it back to like rain. So now it's raining over everything. You can save your profile, so the profile name is here. You can rename it to like Crazy Rain Spy Real Rain. Oh, how about that? So let's go to a new effect here. Let's add a new thing, profile. Let's go to Lighting Channel 1 and let's make it an entire like gradient. So we can go to. Add a new effect, let's go static. And then let's start white on all these. Boom, 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 boom. And then let's go to blue. So new layer, static. And then like a tiny bit blue. All right, so half of them are, it's just a half gradient. So you can see it goes from white to blue. Now you can go back to white, but I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna add a how about a spiral half spiral rainbow. So I'm control dragging, you can do this to select stuff easier. So like I'm holding control and then I'm dragging my mouse. So half of it is a spiral rainbow and half is a gradient from white to blue. Look how much customization IQ has now. It's insane. And it's the same thing with the, so I'm only going on Lighting Channel 1. You can do anything on Lighting Channel 2 as well if you add new layers and stuff. That's the LED strip. So yeah, that I don't need to really explain. You can kind of see for yourself what you can do with it. So this is how you work in the new IQ software and they're updating it constantly because it is just a new release. They're, they're going to be new 
adding new features and stuff, especially with all the new RGB products they're coming out with. So let me know in the comments what you think about the new IQ software. I'm personally super hyped, super excited that they released this finally. I've been wanting to customize my computer more than I have been. So yeah, that was the video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope this helped out if you don't know how to use the IQ software that much. It, it was a hard learning curve for me. I really didn't understand it. I didn't know the layer effect. So if you think about how you're going to do everything in layers, it'll make it super easy for you. So subscribe to the channel if you want more content, more reviews, more first impressions about videos. There's a lot to come. I have a lot planned. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.